What's up, college football fans, sports fans, fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please start subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me to grow. And also, to all, I mean, sorry, guys, to the Boss Nation. Thank y'all so much, man. So much for coming back, watching all my videos from beginning to end. I love you guys. I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby. Y'all I got. And, um, fam. Brothers, sisters, roll tide, baby, roll tide, man, I told, I told, I told y'all, man, matter of fact, y'all told me too, man, we told each other, guys, it was a hell of a game, baby, hell of a game, two bluebirds going against one another, two juggernauts, baby, and like everybody said, and me too, roll tide to the day I die, Alabama came out with the victory, baby, we kicked their ass, guys, the way we were supposed to do. And, guys, just before I get into everything that I'm about to get into, uh, sorry, man, uh, we totaled 437 yards at 7.9 yards per play. Matt Jones completed 25 for 30 passes for 297 yards and four tutties. Smitty had 130 yards. Smitty and three touchdowns on seven receptions in which he was also named the offensive MVP of the Rose Bowl, guys. And also, Harris. Harris found, finished with 125 yards on 15 carries, and he had a 53-yard run, guys. And when he heard of the guy, I got to talk about that. He even got a screenshot for it. And um, the hurdle was actually requested by um a soccer star named Megan Rapinoe. All right, guys. So, man, this game right here, man, it was an awesome game, guys. I was glued to the television like no other. No other, guys. And, man, look, no lie, guys. No lie, man. I can't control myself right now. Just bear with me. But the first play of the game, man, Joe Vela hit on that dude, man. I mean, it shocked the world, man. Shocked the nation, fam. I couldn't believe my eyes. I said, oh, my gosh, my heart. You know what I'm saying, man, guys? I know a lot. I got some. Alabama um house shoes on. Man, when he hit that dude, the ball flew. Shit, my house shoes, they flew out the way. I'm like, man, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? I felt it, guys. I mean, I felt sorry for the young man, man. He ain't got to do him like that. But damn it, I'm glad he did, you know? Because we saw it, man, from, from, from the beginning to the friggin' end, man. We saw it. We, 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 um, we made a statement, man. We let you know that, hey, this, 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 this is not what y'all want, man. And I know y'all didn't want this, but we got to be the bullies. We got to be the bad guys. We got to be who we are, which is doggone Alabama, baby. Alabama, SEC, the kings of the SEC. And about to be the kings of college football because I just seen Ohio State beat the hell out of Clemson. And I'm sitting here salivating. Drew about to come out both sides of my mouth because I want them. Guys, I've been wanting Ohio State all freaking year, man. Y'all know I want them, but we got them. We got my eyes. That's for another video. It's coming up soon. But let's talk about let's talk about Notre Dame. Guys, this this was a very good victory for us, man. I mean, from the beginning to the end. We tore their ass up. Now that last little touchdown they got, that was at the end of the game, about four or five minutes of the game, you know. And they we know they we, even Nick Saban got mad. I don't know what the, I, what, what did he get mad about. I think he got mad at um um Patrick Sertain, like they called the intercept pass interference on him. Or it was, it was one of our players. He was like, man, what the hell? I was like the same thing. What the hell you doing, man? Ain't no damn pass interference. You want you just want them to score to make it look presentable. But anyway, they punk ass and ended up scoring and whatnot, which made it 31 to 14, which was garbage time. Cause we had B Rods, we had our players in, but still, guys, I gotta talk about, man. I gotta I gotta talk about this hurdle. This hurdle. And Najee Harris, man, just, I mean, bro, I need to put my house shoe back on. Damn, I'll do it later. Bro, this hurdle, man, this was, this, he, this guy's 6'2", man, 230 pounds. I don't know why some folks say 215. He's 230. This dude thumps, jumps so far, guys, up in the air. It was a perfect jump. He made the guy, man, I forgot the dude's name. He made that dude like a little child, man. I'm going to see him like this. I'm like. Oh my gosh, he jumped over him with perfection and then like a damn gymnastics, like gym. What were them people that do gymnastics, man? Whatever you call them or whatever name it is, he landed like one of them people, man. 
on the freaking ground, never stopped running. It's like he was up in the air running. You know, so he get the ground, shoo, by at least what, 53, yeah, 53 damn yards, man, down the field. Najee Harris is a mother sucking beast, man. He is, he is a, I don't know what the hell he is. He's a monster, man. He He's not human. You know, he's not from here. He's not even an alien. This dude is unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable, man. And the way he did it, but he didn't even touch him. That's what I'm saying. Usually when you hurt or somebody, your leg, one of your legs will at least touch their ass or the back, head. You might kick them in the back of the neck, something. He didn't touch this guy. He com he completely jumped over him politely and kept running. And the dude he jumped over, he just went flying to the arm down sidelines because he wasn't expecting it. Hell, nobody was expecting it. And yes, it was an actual request for Megan Rapinoe, man. She's a soccer star. And she requested my boy Harris to do that. He, who he had a lot of respect for. And he did it for her, man. And I'm like, bro, it's, a, it's the beginning of the game. It's not even towards the end. Guys, at the end, my boy Smitty, man. Smitty, nobody can touch this dude. He is the best route runner, the best wide receiver in college football, guys. Period. Period, man. And 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 um, he made a dude miss, went to the touch, uh, got a touchdown. That was his first one. And then the second one, guys, he kind of hurt his back a little bit, and I didn't, I didn't like that, man, because we definitely don't need Smitty hurt. We already got Waddle hurt. Now we cannot afford to have Smitty hurt too. He is the bread and butter. He is the blood, heart, soul, spirit, all that good stuff, man. He is the soul of our team on the offense, man. Him and Matt Jones, we gotta have him, man. Gotta have him. Got to. And then I'm, I'm, figuring out, I'm trying to figure out why is Nick Saban still got this man out here doing punt returns? And he just hurt his back. Then after he did a punt return. Hell, he came up kind of limping a little bit then. I'm like, bro, what are y'all? What are you doing, Nick? We need him. We need Devontae Smitty, man. We need Smitty, man. Don't let somebody else say Bolden, Billingsley, anybody, man. I go out there, man. I don't give a damn. Do not let him go out there, man. We, What are you? Anyway, guys, he's okay. He's fine. But I just don't like him punt returning, bro. That is a dangerous game. You see the damn hit Joe laid on that dude? Do you want one, you want somebody laying a hit on Smitty? Hell no, man. But anyway, guys, this 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 was a um man, it was an awesome victory, guys. I really enjoyed this game. It wasn't that, man. And brother and sisters, I am just huh, let me calm down. We are so blessed, bro. Do you understand, guys? The SEC is the why. Well, of course, y'all understand, but you. Well, do you? I don't know. Do you really understand the magnitude of what we are doing, man? Just last year, LSU won the championship, SEC championship. They won it all. Now you got us in the same position, guys. The same position, about to win it all, bro. And that's just keeping us that much higher, that much better than everybody else, that much. Just better, man. And and people, the kids, they're gonna continue on coming to our conference, making us that much better. I mean, guys, before long, Vanderbilt might even get good for once. You know, we are so blessed as a conference, not just as a you know, the teams, a freaking conference, guys, to be just dominant like this, man. Yes, Auburn got their ass kicked. It's, it's Auburn, okay, so it's all right. You know, I mean, y'all. Hopefully, they bounce back eventually. They got a new coach. We are gonna see how they go. And uh, who else got their butts kicked? Florida. Oh gosh, Florida got them. Man, what the yes? What the hell happened to you, Gators? You know, I know y'all had four of your top pass rushers out. I mean, pass catchers out. And I know that means a lot because all of them opted out. But my gosh, man, I ain't know y'all gonna get beat that bad. That's just go to show you, man. We all played us the second half, and y'all had to play them any kind of quarter. Like y'all played us. Y'all would have beat Oklahoma. No ifs, ands, buts about it. But I understand y'all had them ops at, opt outs. But dang, man, that still was a that was a beat down. That was a humongous beat down. But anyway, Florida lost, Auburn lost, but Georgia won, we won. Um, Texas AM, they about to win. Hopefully Ole Miss do too. But I don't know, guys. But anyway, back to Notre Dame. Notre Dame played better than I thought, man. Like I was telling y'all, though, guys, I did not like this high-ass point spread. This freaking 19 and a half points, almost three touchdowns, I did not like that. But we would have covered, you know, if it went for the last four or five minutes. 
And Nick Saban contributed to them scoring because he caught a tempo tantrum at the end of the freaking game. You know, which he don't usually, well, he do, but he don't usually cost us yards. Like, the referee just hating. But anyway, man, this was a very, very good game, guys. I was very, very um, fun of this game, this victory. I had a lot of fun watching it, man. And a lot of fun texting my fam and whatnot back and forth. Ty Scott, he will text you all day, every day. I know y'all be seeing these notifications, guys. Every time you look on your phone, it's going to be probably me and Ty Scott texting because he has so much to talk about, man. I have never seen a young man with so much to talk about. But you know what? I love it because he had that passion like I got, man. I can talk it all day, and he can talk it all day. That's why I talk to him all day. But anyway, guys, um, this was a hell of a game, hell of a victory, and now we got them damn Buckeyes. We got the Buckeyes over Ohio State, in which I knew they was going to win because anytime you um, um, say a team don't even deserve to be there, and they, they rank number 11, you know, in the coaches bowl, in which he's 100% right. <laughs> they shouldn't be there. They should be right around there. Still, guys, y'all already beat them last year, in which they really, you know what I'm saying, should have won that game. But anyway, they didn't. So I know this year they had something to prove, man. And so anybody who took Ohio State, I know you're a good man because you got some money off that game. But, yes, guys, it's time to get ready for the book, guys. SEC, let's stand up, baby. That's, that's, you know, that's Ruth Bama in and whatnot. Because, guys, um, the book guys, the way they played tonight and the way they beat Clemson tonight, they ain't no joke, bro. <clears throat> they are not no joke, man. And I love it. Because the more the competition, the better Bama plays, you know. So, SEC, let's represent, baby. Let's represent at the SEC big time, guys. I want everybody hooping and hollering with the championship game come. Cause damn it, I know I'm going to be. Hey, I might have the TV on top of me rooting and hollering, guys. I'm telling you, man, it's it's about to go down, man, on January the 11th. It's fit to go down, right, uh, fam? No lie, dead serious, no cap. What the hell you want to say? It's fit to go down. It's fit to go down, man. We got them bug guys. And I got to do me a video on them because they deserve it. They deserve this ass to come to them, man. And I'm not saying it's gonna, it ain't going to be easy. But you know what? It's all, it ain't never easy, baby. We going to get them. We going to get them, man. Mark my words. Mark my words. Woo! Anyway, guys, I love y'all. I love every single one of y'all. Boss Nation, y'all always represent. Y'all always watch my videos from beginning to end. Y'all always like it. Oh, yeah, guys, if you still watching the video, please like it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get out there. I got 1,000 to 10 subscribers right now. I'm trying to keep on going. So, Boss Nation, represent. Help me out. Let's do this thing, baby. But anyway, man, once again, much love. Much love, guys. And um, stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace. Oh, 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 oh,